Thriller City. Oh, yeah. You might need a theme song for your shit. Check this out. Turn it right now. Let this shit seep in. JackThriller.com. We creep in. Snoop Dogg to the left. Jack Thriller to the right. JackThriller.com. Do it all night. Hit the website. Hit us up real quick. If you're trying to get hooked up with a bad super bitch. Come on. Yeah. That's true. Right there, yeah. 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 We back. We back, baby. Come on, man. That's New Jack Thriller City, man. It's going down in a major way. Uh, yeah, I got on my school clothes today and shit. You know, my jackthriller.com gear. You know, uh, I'm, 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 I'm feeling sexy. I'm feeling free. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like the day is going to be a wonderful day because you know what? I got my people in here, loved ones, man. You know, I, I, I'm finna tell y'all who my co-host is today. You know, these are my first cousins. They are the godfathers of the crank movement and whatnot. They invented the soldier boy dance. You know what I'm saying? They, the shout at L.O., the get silly. You know, the, that whole little movement, man. And I'm so happy to have them inside the house today and whatnot as my co-pilots. YBT and Lil Playboy from Cash Camp. Y'all give it up for him right hey, now. Man, show him your school clothes, baby. Show him your school clothes. Stand up one time. Show him your school clothes. Show him school clothes. Show him your school clothes, bro. Yeah, yeah, got that yeah, shit on. Yeah. Come on, they got that shit on yeah. right there. Get something light. Get something light, man. Yeah. Look, see, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't Cozy. even know what that is. I can't keep up. Oh, damn, nigga. Now you're showing off. Now you're showing off. If we, if we show on a drip, like, you know, you come up like, and why, why BT, what you, what you bring on, man? What you, what you did today? Okay. 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 Little blue boy. Okay. okay. Yeah, man, I don't know none of them niggas, stupid. but I know it's yeah. expensive. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay. They dripping, <laughs> man. Man, I remember back in the day when you were driven, you had to goddamn go to the clinic. <laughs> <laughs> and now these niggas is dripping and they got them getting all the hoes. You, you hear me? That's what God do, man. Hey, yo, YBT, yo, What's little happening? Playboy, we, we got an excellent show today. I'm lit. Yo, I'm man, we, 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 got some, we, got, we got some MCs and some rappers in here today. Oh, yes, sir. You know, these guys get down with them bars, yeah. bar for bar for bar, and bars and top of bars and stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, one of them, we were just uh, talking just a minute ago, and uh, you know, we kind of like, our lives is like parallel a yeah, little exactly. bit, because we got the same type of background. Mm -hmm. like. He 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 was born in Albany, Georgia. Wow, hometown, yeah, hometown. Yeah. Okay, Albany. He 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 went to school uh, in uh, Huntsville, Alabama. You know, okay, like around the same time, the same. I think we went to, like probably a couple of the same schools in Huntsville. Wow, yeah, that, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, and then my my other homie, my other homie, man. I know him like over 10 years back. I met him in New York. Uh, mm -hmm. My man Mitchell Supreme had a night at the Pyramid and he used to come up in there yeah. and tear that motherfucker down mm -hmm. once a month. <laughs> Goddamn, all the New York niggas and all them talking about these like Wu-Tang S type motherfuckers. <laughs> bars on top of bars on top of bars. The home where hip hop live. But I, I, he not from New York. Mm -hmm. I think he from for like Florida or something. Yes, okay. Sir. Okay. Hey, am I right? Yes, sir. And, okay. Yeah, All right, yeah. man. Without further ado, man, y'all give it up for Trans Lee and Gray. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Great. That's love, man. Big up the home team. Appreciate it, man. That's what's up, man. How y'all feeling, bro? Man, lovely, man. Yeah, Blessed, man. bro. Thank you for having us, man. Man, happy I think y'all coming the last minute, man. Nah, man. I wouldn't miss it, bro. I wouldn't miss it. Come on. Yeah, full circle, because you know a lot of people don't even know this, but yo, you you ain't you you not one dimensional, Gray. Mm. You know, you, mm. you got them got got backup plans. <laughs> <laughs> Forward plans. Yeah. Sideways plans. Yes, sir. You know how to do audio and all that other stuff. You know how to produce yourself if you wanted to. A little bit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, can't give me your back. T tell them, tell them what all you know how to do mm. to, uh, uh, besides rap, to even support yourself doing rap. Mm. 
Because well, a lot of um, a lot of people don't know how to goddamn go in and record themselves. They have to wait on somebody else to do that shit. Mm. You know, like yeah, I'm gonna rap next week, and every, <laughs> I'm gonna rap next week because the studio. Damn, it costs too much to do this, and yeah. you know. But you could do that yourself if you wanted to. Tell them mm, about your De, your Devry esque experience. Ooh, I don't know about a Devry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> experience. I don't know about that. But um, I mean, I, I, I knew I know audio a little bit. You know what I'm saying? To run to run um, the mics and and get and catch audio and open up sessions and and pro tools and stuff like that but like as far as like deep down diving and engineering and stuff is it's really not 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 my forte but i know a little bit you got you got to if know you something. had to do it oh yeah yeah it's right in it's right in the pocket with what we do so yeah it's like it's, it's, it's a it's youtube dope. video away oh right you <laughs> see man youtube university you can, oh, you can learn anything, build a plane man. Of that, you know what I mean? Anything, bro. Mm -hmm. I, I, I had to goddamn uh, uh, perform my own abortion <laughs> over YouTube. Oh, for real. You know, crazy. I saved them little 500. I was like, shit. <laughs> this man. Come in. So, you, you sure you don't want to do this, right? Oh, All no. right, let's go. You know? Oh, man. Went there, got me some goddamn, uh, 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 some tongs. Tongs. <laughs> got me some tongs and some goddamn Crisco. Bro. <laughs> that's what they told me to do on YouTube. Yeah, that's what they told me to do on YouTube. And oh, it worked. Man. It was a little messy. Yeah, drink man. a bunch of vinegar or something like that. It, 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 you could was, do that. that. That's, old, right? that's, what, that's what the old grandmas used to do back then. Hey, bro, it's, it's more than one way to skin a cat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yo. You saw what I did? You saw what I did, right? <laughs> All them vegan followers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, get get out of there. <laughs> not, not get over here. Get out of there. <laughs> but when more to combat on. Presley, what's going on, man? Man, chilling, man. Just ha really happy to be here, dog. This is a, a every time I come in in this space, dog. Like I almost catch tears, man, just to see you know all the growth from everybody. So wow, yeah, so. for sure. Man, Trailer, you a real emotional dude. You all, you make me as I man. Listen, you as, about to make me cry, man. Listen, every year as I get older, I get more and more like yeah. emotional. Like I can cry off a of a good commercial, dog. Like anything <laughs> can make me just, <laughs> or like, I can see like a child running to their father, and I can just get teary eyed. Like anything, wow. I'm, I'm just I don't know. I'm becoming a different person. You you know what you 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 reminded me of my cousin YBT man. He's very in touch with himself. No, seriously man, I think that it, it's just you being in tune with the yeah. spirit man. That's, yeah, that's really dope. Yeah, it's really dope because sure. I feel like the closest thing to to God is like infancy. Like mm. when kids come, mm. they literally have a light. It's you could be having a bad right. day, a, a good kid comes in the room, shines light on everybody. Right. Everybody's right. smiling, happy. So it's dope just to hear you in tune, that's which, you know, I don't think that crying is something that is emasculine. I think yeah. it's something that's masculine. I think it's something that allows people to, you know, just embrace their mm -hmm. inner self. So. And, and something that people don't don't talk about enough, crying actually feels good. If yeah. you, mm. When you think about it, it actually feels good, but you don't want it. The reason why you're crying probably, but the, the act of doing it for some strange it, reason. Feels good. Feels I can't cry that much. Like, like, like. Whenever I say I get teary, I get choked up. But like, I can't like. <gasps> I, I just. Can't, I haven't been able to bring that <laughs> out of me probably, if ever. Mm. But. I I'm think sorry. I think I cried. I. I, I think I, <laughs> I, I, I. I did that one probably like a good four four years ago, man. Mm. You know, I had this little Spanish girl I was going with. Oh. She smoked weed. I didn't. I she met a nigga that had the, she. He was the plug, and it was over <laughs> for us. See where this going? Oh, man. I couldn't compete with the plug. She start smoking weed, yeah. bro. I, I don't. I, I I I can't do that. I'm because I'm too emotional. Mm. You know, if you if you if you if you like a real emotional person or, or some shit like that, and you smoking and everything, it could take you to a whole nother level. That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is just me knowing myself. I, I, it's not for me, and I don't knock it for anybody else. Do your thing. Right. But yeah, we. I, I be done killed myself smoking weed. Got, <laughs> I, I would have got too loud or too sour on your ass. <laughs> too loud, too sour. <laughs> yeah, I could. Couldn't do it, man. I can't do it. And then they got their new shit too out here with all the mm. sprinkles on it, and oh, yeah, you man. know the, the, the sparkles and frosting. it's frosting. Yeah. And <laughs> it's <laughs> orange and purple and yeah, yeah. colorful bags. Yeah, yeah. yeah. when they it's open scary. it up, it be black in the inside. Right. Well, it's I'm confusing. not a smoker, so I don't know. But what does that mean? Why is it yeah, black right, on the inside, yeah. but like Great. orange or, or white no on idea. the outside? They, somebody told me that they that they be having junkies that be high off all type of drugs. Piss on bales of weed to 
to like no. make, it, make it. I All heard right. that from Man. a crazy place. <laughs> no, I heard that from a crazy I place. I hope not. They'll get like like a junkie high off a whole bunch of shit and just have them piss on like you know like a bunch of we just have them piss on. Them. <laughs> what the fire here just sanitized. Yeah, yeah, sanitized. <laughs> And it's like, no. oh man, nigga, no, this, no, this no. a new strain. I'm high as fuck. You no, really no, smoking no, 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 no. MDMA? You some J? Yeah, so, no, so, hey, no, if I a nigga, I don't know how that is. I was about to ask what the source. But, <laughs> if a nigga told you you were smoking junkie piss Ooh. and whatnot, like, if you like, hey dog, I, you need to try this new junkie piss. <laughs> so, so listen, I've done a level way below that. Like, um, what you back, about to say? To back us? whenever I was in school, <laughs> nah, this, this is nothing nowhere near that. But okay, whenever I was in, in school, I, I sold weed for like once one summer, and like how I used to make it more like um, for somebody to want to buy it. I used to put orange peels in, down in the bag, and then I, like I would just let that sit in. I mm. put it in like 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 the refrigerator. So I'd be like, this that this that fruity shit. Niggas would come smell. I'm like, got the nose. Yeah. Oh yeah, like, yeah. For real. Yeah. Yeah. It really was. It really so like you know yeah. that that's a level below that. But I'm just mm. hold on. So did you know? Mm. So all this shit some bullshit then. Huh? It might be. It's like, <laughs> especially with the spirit. <laughs> you know, put those some fruity pebbles inside your shit and then. And now it smell like it, and you think, yeah, yeah you, hit yeah. you with a Febreze. <laughs> that sounds toxic though. If you smoke something that got Febreze on it, yeah, nah, nah that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But like the orange peel was like organic. Yeah. 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 Like, What's organic, organic anymore though? What, what, is, what is organic? Mm. It's like, funny. It's funny that you bring that up, man. I'm actually reading this book called Inner Engineering by mm. Sadhguru, and he talks mm, about. Sadhguru. Yeah, he's yeah. incredible, man. Yeah, he is. Mm. The book is incredible, and that's why I, I was letting you know about the tears. He talks about that too, but his whole thing is saving the soil, also. Mm, yeah. Mm. And yes. I saw that you have plant peace. Plant some peace. Yeah. Plant some peace, mm -hmm. and it's, that's it's really, right. really fire. Can you talk about that? You know? It's crazy because we I actually uh, saw him speak at the gathering spot about like two wow, months ago. Gathering spot. Yeah, Shout out to yeah. you. And he was talking about that, just saying like how they've taken so much from the soil, from I, I think just probably from digging oil or just things that, that they're doing in, in an environment that's killing the soil. Mm -hmm. And he's saying like 40, 50 years from now, it's not going to matter who's at war, who's not at war, right. who's doing what, what, who the president is, because we ain't going to have no nutrients in the soil to even... Zero eat you know what i mean so he's like that's the bigger issue that people aren't really paying attention to and i hope i'm saying it right but absolutely but so, um yeah but yeah nah this that's crazy you brought him up because i just got put on him like two months ago incredible yeah incredible man he talks about how like one orange from like 1999 the amount of nutrients that's in it you would need maybe like three or four to yeah. meet that equivalent now in 2023 because the soil is that depleted that's crazy i, I had mm. a grapefruit the other that's day it wasn't grapefruit like See? it was a little like more more um Straight tart machine yeah it, not, not, i ain't gonna say tart mm. it, it it was a little watered down oh yeah mm. yeah well, it was a little watered down and they, they it looked fat as it was juicy mm. as hell and you know what i'm saying it, it that's looked, scary bro that's super scary bro. yeah it, it looked official food, so so it's like if the orange is as but i ain't gonna throw them away though as a whole <laughs> ain't, ain't 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 right what you think the orange juice that we drinking it's probably even Man. Mm -hmm. Probably no nutrients in it at all. Mm. Wow, no I nutrients. That, I heard that like like the soil is just because you know I've been plant based for a minute, but they be like it don't matter if, if even if some of the vegetables that you're getting is not getting nutrients from the soil because the soil is bad. I forget it's a different term for it too. It's like zero um, um, net zero, net zero or something like that. We're basically trying to like um, take away all the greenhouse gases that are depleting the ozone layer. You mean the net zero? Campaign? Nah, it, it was some it, it, talking about like not having enough nutrients in, in the soil. In the soil specifically, and I, I've heard okay. that before. So it's it's interesting, man. They've been playing with the food for for some forever, bro. Like not forever, but do y'all think 30, that's why? Um, you got, you know you got Bill Gates buying up all these farms oh, and stuff. To try to that, make the soil better or to make the soil worse or man, I mean, you got. I really don't know. I I don't know. I can't even quite put my finger on. Bill Gates, somebody mm. that started off making uh, computers and the internet, mm. then going into making medicines and vaccines. <clears throat> now they making food genetically. But he got, yeah. got like his yeah. hand on everything. on everything. Yeah. So it's like I feel like the overall um, agenda. Agenda. Like some somebody that something have bigger a, than what we actually know. Mm. Oh, for sure. Because he has a vested interest in us being sick. And so, you got to know who his father is and, what, uh, and who his father, what his father's known for and what he probably instilled in him, which he is now. You know what I mean? 
Um, I don't know his dad. Yeah, who his yeah, dad let's is? Let's talk about that. I mean, he's a, he's a eugenist, right? You know what I mean? Like population control. So mm. he's he's been he's been dealing with that for as he's growing up. So anything that he's been on, I've been I've seen his name all over the stuff where. Wow. Um, like he'll go to he'll go to Africa and 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 do this new vaccine rollout and and hit up all these people. But his father was about depopulation. Mm. Mm. So mm. anything he tied to, I just, you know, I, mm. confirmed or unconfirmed, I just be like, man, boy, about Turn de depopulation. Oh, you know what I'm man. saying? Do you guys go over people's heads? But did huh? you guys get the COVID vaccine? Oh uh, man, that's a that's a that's a medical question. Now you, <laughs> I, oh, I had to do what was best for me and my family. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got the vaccine. Let's I got go. the vaccine. Okay, not for sure. I yeah, did yeah. Not uh, get the I'm, the only, I'm the only one in my fa in my household who who got the, the vaccine. Yeah. Everybody be looking at me crazy, like, why the hell would you? So I don't judge nobody for this, whether they did or 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 didn't because did you? I, I understand it was a wild time. Did you? You didn't know, no. Okay, but yep. it was a wild time where it's like I, I understand because you don't know what, what you don't know. They on. shut everything down, man. It was so hard to make money. Uh, well, besides the scams, but like to legally go do something, yeah, it was you had hard. To, you had to be vaccinated to go outside, you go to work, to. go on film sets. Um, to get some, I, which which I feel like one of the greatest <clears> lawsuits <throat> of all time is coming whenever they realize because you see how mm. joe biden just said oh this vaccine if they just dropped another one it's like this one works <laughs> so like that means that the old one didn't work does that mean you fired all these people and all these people Man, had to change their life around it's just it's and just for <laughs> a vaccine that y'all pushed that didn't work yeah i don't know it's just so yeah. now they're saying they got a new vaccine that actually works <laughs> he said right he said out. actually he works? said that actually what? works let, let's well, we it, get off he said it works wow. yeah, it works but well it works that that works He's i'm gonna go get it just in case works. <laughs> have you ever, uh, uh, have have any of y'all ever caught COVID? Yes. Mm -mm. Did Twice. you have? You didn't catch it, and, I, but you did get the vaccine. I ain't, I ain't saying I did or I didn't oh, get the okay. vaccine, but I never even got tested for COVID. Oh, I wouldn't wow. even respect. Yeah, you know what I mean. Man, um, I survived like the first three uh, years of it. Uh, I got the vaccine as soon as it came out. Man, I ended up catching COVID probably like two months ago for the first time. I was so sad and depressed. It was probably one of the most wow. depressing because it was like. Why I ain't catch COVID when everybody else had? <laughs> no, no, you didn't want what that you, one. You didn't want it, boy. You, did, you didn't want that one. I so got that Delta variant. My COVID. Really don't, nah, I didn't really get sick. Don't think mm -hmm. that one was wrong. You was my you back was hurt. This really the good COVID right here. You yeah. didn't want that that first COVID. Yeah, mm. I caught the Delta variant. It wasn't no joke. This the thing. I caught that first one. Ever probably. since it came out, no Marion. Ever since it came out, <laughs> Omicron. I had the Spirit Airlines. Ever since it came out, it there was a 98 survival rate, 98 percent survival rate. Yeah. Ever since it came out, and nobody dove into that huge ass statistic. Everybody dove into the two percent that they blew up all over the. You know what I'm saying? But great. But it was a lot of motherfuckers dying. Yeah, I'll do it again. Yeah. Do it again. It a lot of people dying. Come on now. Think time, about two. How, what is two percent to but, the world's population? Still, though, yeah. it was people, That's a lot of people, was, bro. Yep. People dying, bro. Like that's a bro. Lot. That people that, that we knew. Hey, dog. So, this like, ain't even no joke I, right here. I, 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 I know I, this. So I, I understand why. It, it was a girl like I was, I was fucking. She had died like three weeks later. I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, I thought I was next. <laughs> yeah, man. I thought oh, I did oh, that. Man. 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 I just sworn oh, I did that. Up. Oh, <laughs> you just never know. I, I went on, got my own. Man, that first, I'm, COVID, I'm gonna get man. it, man. I just I thought I was gonna be, man. You know, when I see those numbers like 98, percent it's kind of hard for me to, you know, mm. believe because when you see the reason why they why they were actually being that that being the ruling like the ruling cause of death for these people on their death certificates or when they do go to do the autopsy a lot of these like doctors and facilities were allowed to say that they passed away from, from COVID, COVID and it yeah. wasn't that yep. and a lot of these people had like pre-existing conditions you know mm -hmm. diabetes or obesity things like high that blood yeah. high blood pressure which you know a lot of our people are dealing Human with disease, they was everything. calling it COVID right and they, they were, were calling it COVID because they were getting more money mm -hmm. which is the ventilator I could talk about this all day long. I don't know how much no, time right because was, no, because <laughs> they was they was literally like my 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 uncle who passed from it. He was in the hospital and at the same time wow. my my aunt was in the hospital with the same con with the same um conditions. Uh -huh. And they said she didn't have COVID. They said she had triple pneumonia. They said wow. he had COVID. He ended up dying, but she didn't. It's like they was in the same house together. Yeah, she got the man. same symptoms. See? How does she not have COVID? Like that's, that's fishy to me. But they was just kind of like, oh, he he died. He died of COVID. Like it was COVID. How you know old I mean? was he? Uh, he was like fifty-five or something like that. That's still young. 
Yeah. And when they put that's the age group that was there, bro. getting hit. Impacted the most. Is it though? 55? Yeah, that is. man. No, yeah. 12 is young. <laughs> nah, 55 is young. 55. To be, who to wants be, to die to be passing. Yeah. I would rather die at 55 than 12. I would rather not mm. die. You gonna mm. die. <laughs> well, not young. But did you check this out? Obviously, you're prime. This would, I, this would be throwing me off with the whole dying conversation. Okay. Y'all do this know that dying ain't just came out. <laughs> Niggas been dying. Like, I don't think there's no such thing as going too soon or any of that. Right. We all going to be one of them people that people going to be like, what? Jack died at whatever age? 92. Yeah, they yeah. do it. They, yeah. I was yeah. like, hold on, I'm Jack. I was about to say, that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even joke around with my shit like that. Yeah, yeah, I gotta make sure I blow up all the way first, and then before I put. Boy, that you done blew up. What you talking about? And that, man, no, this yeah, ain't Jack, blowing up. I ain't made it yet. Jack, you do realize that our yeah. grandma like three, four years from a hundred. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People is out here living. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? She 98. So, yeah, 55 is. I'm sorry, there. two years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, from a hundred, they yeah. out here living. Yeah, we, got, we, we, we can, we can. Yeah, our family does. They get, they live on. The key though yeah. is taking care of yourself so that when you do, do make it, mm. you are not struggling. Uh, you know what yeah. I mean? Because I see some people that's in a wheelchair. Like, man, I, I pray I get old, but dang, do I want to be like that when I get old? No. It's like yeah. I'm, I'm a burden to everybody around me. Mm-hmm. Everybody gotta take. Like you know, on everybody. so yeah. you gotta really take care of yourself. But yeah. they also they also had a 30, 40, 50 year head start with no GMO, no yeah, processed that's, foods. That's they went that's straight that's to the true. farm, got their food. Yeah. So we dealing we dealing with people catching cancer in their thirties and falling off in their forties and fifties like it's normal and it's really not. You know what I'm saying? Scary. Mm. Do, but, do you think they put stuff in the food in certain areas that give certain people cancer and target it? Hell yeah, it's called redlining laws. Look it up. They they literally took a marker and took a red marker and was like, Psh, this neighborhood ain't gonna have access to good food, Psh, education, home loans, all this stuff. So we get all the processed food. That's why every hood across America looks the same. We all got chicken spots. We all got a liquor store. We all got a pawn store. It's designed Check, like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's um, laundromat. That's actually my definition of the matrix. Mm-hmm. As far as uh, people that are in freedom and choice, like you can ask somebody. Jack, what's your favorite pie? Uh, apple. Okay. <laughs> I guess, no, I mean, can you actually say that apple is your favorite pie if you haven't tried every pie that is in the offer? Yes. So you can? Yes. Okay, so if they don't make it accessible to you, do you actually have a choice or are you forced on apple? I have made it up in my mind that apple is going to be my favorite pie. Have you tried every pie? I didn't want to. Because you, you got to ask somebody else. Stop. I was going to scared I was going to like something else. And then now I got to start over getting some favorite food. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the point I'm making right there. Is it wow. because it's in your area? Because that's what's accessible to mm-hmm. you? Because that's at what's, what's at your local Walmart? Mm-hmm. Or if you travel from one county to another county and they happen to have, you know, peach cobbler and other things that we outside sample, could you possibly love that even more? They make it what's available within your demographic in mm-hmm. order to make you just like Jack. Mm. Wow. Deep, my mm. brother. Mm. Mm. Clap for that. I feel like that's the truth, man. Yeah. You saw what he did. <laughs> yeah. So, um, y'all y'all seem to be conspiracy theorists, YBT and Gray <laughs> and whatnot. Like, I, I, I think sometimes we can go a little bit, We can it could be a little far-fetched or we could be reaching a little bit when it comes to that whole uh, uh, population control conversation. You know, okay. like if the if the government really from this is what this is where I feel if they really wanted to kill you, is they could kill you. It ain't no thing, but then, but as far as putting um, poison inside of your foods and stuff like that, I think that's a little far fetched. Now, true enough, I just think that you know when it comes to the food stink situation, is it's 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 a it's a, an abundance of it, and when it's a abundance of of of. of just things that we mass produce. Some some people are going to get a little careless with the the process of making that shit, and I think that's what the, we be victims of that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and like capitalism, but it's working. It's like but but here's the here's the the bigger play is capitalism is always at work. Mm-hmm. So so even though we are getting the worst food. 
who we still have to go to the doctor and still have to go through the medical system, which they make a ton of money from. So there's no real like interest in them making healthy food because Absolutely. because we, we have to pay for health care and all of that. Like say FDA regulates the food England. Man. There's um health care is free, right? Mm. So if you want to eat like unhealthy food, it's a little more e- expensive. Why? Because mm. if you want to eat unhealthy or like if you want to get the Coke with sh- with regular sugar in it in, in like London, you got to pay a little bit more for sugar because they rather you get the less sugar option because they rather for you to be healthy because Yo, healthcare yeah, costs. Hard, I mean, healthcare bro. is free there. So like they don't want to be, bro. they don't want you sick because, but here you got to pay for it. So it's like, what, who's but pushing but, down but, against big pharma? What you're I understand what you're saying. And, and you, you, uh, you make a really great point. But if, when you bring, when you bring up shit like that where healthcare is free in Canada, healthcare is free in England, but then we have abundance of junk food and all that other shit. Like that. we eating that shit because we want to. Eating bad feels good. Well, the government. The government allows. Have you ever you know went to England and you said, "I can't wait to get home so I can help kill myself"? Because yeah. this shit is too good for me. But even in the <laughs> even in the candy, if you look at a piece of candy here and there, the ingredients list is like completely different i seen that when they had uh like the ingredients of like let's say a box of cereal that yeah. was in the united states compared to like you were saying england or the U- all the, type uh, of Europe versions mm-hmm. it would have syrup. way more ingredients in it I stuff here is banned over there yeah they don't even let you eat that over there but mm-hmm. here it's just like here Give it to your kids when they three they love it it's the greatest all country you know what i mean seen they love all it so the much. ingredients they had mm-hmm. in the, the chicken sandwiches Mm. When that didn't go viral, the Popeye's chicken sandwich mm-hmm. and the Chick Fil A chicken sandwich. Did y'all go get that Popeye's chicken I sandwich? I still eat them today. I, I did. Dude, dude, okay, <laughs> I definitely did get one. Okay, did you? Did, when the last time you had a uh, ch- Chick Fil A chicken sandwich? I had Chick Fil A this morning. I Come on chicken. now, mm-hmm. we yeah. we want to die. Let's have go. Ever eaten, since you say eating bad makes you feel good, have you ever eaten good and felt better? Mm. Yes, one hundred percent. But you rather feel just. I, I'd rather mm. uh, have these moments where I feel, feel good and everything. Uh, well, I want to feel good all the time, but sometimes you have these cravings, and you know, if you, if you ain't smoking crack or you don't smoke weed or no, whatnot, sugar is, then that's addiction. your Much that's your high. Yeah. It's a real addiction, like sugar. Yes, yeah, addiction. It's it's, mm-hmm. it's like it's not even something that people can just Especially stop. Artificial sugar. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. High fructose corn syrup. DJ Paul said it was harder to get off sugar than it was to get off crack. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna take his word for it. <laughs> <laughs> Because I've been crack free for like uh, 41 years now. (laughs) (laughs) That sugar's a bitch, man. It is. Don't don't fight it. It is. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. I definitely I definitely wrestle with it. Just let it happen. uh, No, you gonna Mm. walk up and down Stone Mountain. He gonna take the love. Yeah, I'm gonna feel good. Just Uh, tell me about it. Shout out Stone Mountain. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, uh, I, I, I got a, uh, I'm, I'm got a treadmill. I'm getting, I'm getting put up in my house in my LA Fitness right now, and uh, yeah, I got a cool little workout regimen. And as long as you drinking enough water and you flushing that stuff out your body and everything, you getting right. Just gotta just do it in moderation. Mm-hmm. At the end mm-hmm. of the day, it's all in moderation. Right. What, 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 what are we doing right now that isn't killing us? Where, what point yeah. are we not yeah. dying? Hmm. 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 Mm. And if you keep on just, just thinking about, you know, not dying every day, are you really living? <laughs> food for thought. That is food. Right. Come on now. Come on. Come on. I think that, you know, that's what that's what that's I think that's part of the uh the, the poison to keep people like, oh shit, I can't I can't eat this. Oh damn, I can't smoke well, that. Oh man, I can't shoot up over this. But I think no, <laughs> I think I, to to his point, it's about feeling better. It's like, yeah, we all gonna gonna die, but when that, whenever I die, I want to die feeling fine. Or like, I, I want to have live. I want. I don't want to have suffered and then die. I want to like feel fine at least most of my life. Translate. You know what I mean? When, where are these videos that on YouTube where somebody laying out like this? I feel fine. <laughs> this is the perfect time to die. No, 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 no. <laughs> what I mean is, I did the right thing. Quality of life. Quality, quality, of, quality, quality of life, of life is what I mean. The quality of life. Quality of life is is, um, is what what I mean. Like. Yeah, you could talk that vegan talk all day long and eat mm-hmm. number of vegetables and go outside and get hit by a damn do it bus. again. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But 
when you get hit by that bus, was your stomach hurting or was you feeling fine? Oh, I that's see. All, that's all I'm saying. I think like, the goal. I see what you did, my brother. <laughs> I think the goal for for us black men is to be health conscious, not so much vegan or pescatarian, whatever. So. It's just health conscious to understand mm. that what mm. they done told us is a lie. Milk is not good for your bones. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to get your protein through steak, chicken, beef. There's other ways. There's there's more than just the five meats that they show us at this fake ass pyramid that they present to us. You a food pyramid. You know what I mean? So it's like just understanding. Like, damn, I know if I eat these skittles, I know that shit is not good for me. But there was a time where I did not know that. And I'm just popping them. Just, you, you know what I'm saying? Or Starburst. So though. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I'm just 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 knowing. Like, if you're gonna eat me, go to the plug. Go to the farmer. You know what, so what I'm saying? Nice. Meet Farmer John and be like, "What's up, Farmer John? How would you feed them?" chickens oh, okay i know what you're feeding them now yeah. you know what i'm saying and being in atlanta uh we have access to that and black owned farms too so, you know what i'm saying um so it's not about i just think we just need to be so you're going to a farm right you when you needed some chicken because like about are you going to a farm and you 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 buying chicken fresh off the farm? Well, I'm vegan. That's what you telling me i'm vegan but if i if i was if i if i was <laughs> okay. being here i would okay That's how they do it I think it's dope. Hold on, so y'all from yeah. uh, We got family from out there. Okay, yeah. cause that. Okay, that, yeah. that makes sense. Okay. Mm. I been, we been down there. See I was grandma, born there, yeah. uh, Grab the chicken Ringing by his the head. Chicken. Yeah. Bop, yeah. Crack his neck. I ain't like that shit. Pluck the feathers yeah. off yeah. of it. Right. Fry it up right then and there in front of you. And right. do you, but do you know how much pot. trauma that put on your mind seeing that chicken die? Yeah, nah, cause just you saying that, it's kind of messing with me. You see what I'm saying? It's not cool. Y'all didn't have no farm or nothing like that. It's not cool. I did, but like. My, uh, have you ever slaughtered a hog? I never seen it. I never I seen it. Go it. Wait, uh, see how it's uh, traumatizing. He twisted it around like yeah, around nah, that was crazy. Like helicopter, like mm-hmm. people, yeah, probably. yeah. Nah, I ain't trying to see. Great. That. Uh, earlier you said there are more than the five meats on the pyramid. I never heard of that before. But I mean, like, think about it. Like, we 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 only know how to cook chicken, steak, yeah. pork chop, fish, crab lamb, legs, lamb, lamb, seafood. But there's like there's like three hundred other foods but i'm saying what other you know what meats saying? can we really eat well i'm saying not besides like, like, like your poultry. No, no, no. what i was saying is that they only present those seven okay. sources for protein oh you get your protein oh. from legumes beans oh, okay, uh, yeah kale broccoli nuts. you know what I'm peanut saying? butter nuts. and stuff like that no, yeah a lot of protein and peanut butter Pe- peanut butter peanuts you know um it's just that it's, it's just a we're, we're living in a we have a western society diet if you go across to India, they not eating chicken every damn three times a day. They eating it like three times a week. They got a lot of uh, chickpeas and lentils and stuff like that. They may eat it once a day or something with other, you know. But we consume it. We consume meat three times a day. So, like, we, we, we can't take, you know, we, our bowel movements are, are clawed up. We can't even take. We dying from colon cancer. Don't look at me, man. My we we die. Awesome. Really, <laughs> really the, number one, the number one cause for us is heart disease. Mm-hmm. And that's something that we do three, three times, times a day. day. That's not hereditary. That's yeah. what we can change, you know. But they don't tell us that shit. Right. So when I, I, made, I made my transition in 2016 to a vegan diet. Whoa. And, and, when, I, and Whoa. when I did that. <laughs> no, not like that, man. Come oh, on, man. Oh. <laughs> you a boy. Come on, man. <laughs> okay. You a boy. Uh, but it's like that that process when I learned the injustice of the food, man, that really infuriated me. And I just went in to dive in about the health and then like social systems and shit like that. And but uh so what's your favorite snacks then? Woo! Chips still. I still fuck chips. Are up. you only eating like the sun dried chips or uh kettle cooked cook ones? Kettle yeah. cook. Yeah. I like hey, kettle don't lie just to pleasure. For the sake of sake of this nah. conversation. Nah, <laughs> is you really eating up, kettle yeah. chips? Uh, you, that's you up here doing salt and vinegar. All right, all right. All, no, yeah, come on, yeah. come on, okay, come on. Okay. Ooh, one of my ooh, chicken head. One of my favorite chips right now that happens to be vegan and it's not good for you is Lil Boosie's chips from um, uh, Rap Snacks. Man, anything that got Lil Boosie on it can't yeah, be healthy. I way. love them shits, man. Yeah, them yeah, shits hitting Boosie. right now. They got a chokehold on me. <laughs> it, it, it sounds yeah. like it will have a Lil Boosie will have a chokehold no matter what he cook. <laughs> what, what's uh, one of your top uh, vegan dishes that we could, uh, something easy that we can make on our own? Don't um, say nothing like no salad and nothing. No, no, no. Something good. No, I, my favorite shit is a uh, lentil curry, lentil coconut curry. So you get like um, you get a, a lentils uh, mm-hmm. or chickpeas. Chickpeas would probably be easy for you. Um, you just roast, uh, drain the chickpeas. You get the can, drain it, throw it all in one pot. You can put your your rice in the pot, put the chickpeas in the pot, cut up potatoes, sweet potatoes, put it in the pot, and then um, you put coconut milk. You put a little curry in there, and um, like a non-chicken cube and you just let it all boil and you can make it really one pot um take about 20 minutes 
and then you can throw kale on it if you want it. And then when mm -hmm. it come out, it's like a just a coconut curry yeah. mess of everything. You just made that shit up. I don't. Know. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, that shit's not good, though. No, it don't. <laughs> no, that's not good. Like that. Come on, man. Don't do me like that. Jack, you just don't. That shit's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I, kinda I don't have a recipe, but I don't. Have a recipe, uh, but I, don't um, I, I, I got like three recipes written down, but when I get to 10, I, I do want to put one out. Like yeah. a free one. That's Nigga, just, you lying like You said free. Don't put no free book out, my boy. At least put it online on Amazon for 99 cents. Something, man. Yeah, they go, they'll support you for sure, especially when when people see uh, you doing good things like that. They gonna support all day for sure, Most even definitely. if it's just a dollar. Right, right. That's that, that was the plan it. for real. Now I'll buy ten saying. of them. You seen when um, Nip had did what he did and Jay Z bought? How about that was? Mm -hmm. No, it was a thousand dollars a a mixtape. A hundred dollars. Hundred dollars mixtape. Okay. Yeah. No, and he bought these. So that was the second time. The first time he did a hundred dollar mixtape. Then the second time he did a thousand dollar mixtape. We really don't know if this nigga did this. He did it twice. It was the first one with Crenshaw that he sold. Yeah, I take these nigga word for it. I don't. I'm not one of them niggas that believe everything I hear. Yeah. I done seen a lot of bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> do, do we ever see it? He did. Yeah, cause you know how many, how many nigga did that shit right after that? Yeah, man, I made two hundred dollars, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Three of my uncles so bought that shit. Weeks. I'm still waiting on the other hundred dollars now, and that mm. was four weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah we 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 hear so. these amazing stories all the time. But how do you even reach out to for somebody like Jay Z to? Buy your shit, like, cause he said, you know what? That's some good entrepreneurial ass shit. I mean, but Nip was on. Yeah, he, he, he was, was already on. on. He, he was, was already on. He was lit. He, don't, let's never forget that part. And sure. also uh, the California wave, man. If you got a fan base in California, you can just tour in California and and make so much money, you don't even need the rest of the country. California Texas, circuit, that, crazy. Yeah. Texas well, really, you could do that in Texas. any state if you do it the right way. For instance, like uh, Tech Nine, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, I, love I tech. ain't never seen Kansas Tech Nine City. perform out here like that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't he might come for like a then. festival or something. Make more money than. But right. I remember uh, we see him perform in his uh, in his state. Man, he had shut that shit down so crazy, yeah, down. and it was like I yeah. was just blown away that a guy because that was my first time even hear of him mm -hmm. and he had headline like a radio station um like a birthday badge type event mm -hmm. man the motherfuckers in that stadium that arena was singing every song word for back. word yeah. front to back doing every step that he do when they do it, it was just crazy yeah, though yeah, i love yeah. take nine man shout out strange music well he, he, he's really crazy. like the most successful independent artist, yeah, you know what I mean, like of all the, time. Yeah, I think he was the first artist to sell a million, independent artist to sell a million records independently. Man, wow. he he he's a uh, he's phenomenal, bro. When it comes to the uh, rapping and business side, yeah, you know what I mean, I, I want I, that's one of my one of my favorite artists that I want to see perform live, dog. Oh man, yeah, sure it was crazy. crazy. That but that was that, that was a long time ago, man. Yeah, like yeah. 2009 when I seen him. I can only imagine mm -hmm. what the show looked like now. Mm -hmm. It's probably way crazier. Oh yeah, way yeah. More he, he yeah he still get busy to this day. I got, mm -hmm. I'm gonna reach out to him and whatnot, man. He was really cool, uh, a really good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. We gonna get him on the show. Oh, we man, damn yeah, sure man, gonna get him on the show. Yeah, but, but yeah. speaking of that though, man, y'all talk about the grind of getting y'all music out there in the streets and whatnot. What, what how's it been for y'all? And what do y'all feel like is the most effective way to do it for you? Mm. Cause I'm, I'm always seeing uh, translate you coming up with different strategies and uh, on your online on uh, your uh, Instagram. And different uh, contests and nice. challenge your own making up your own challenges. Mm. Um, man, so just to speak on what what we have going on, like separately as artists, we've always just tried to do you know like rapping in the car for I always tell artists you want to get some traction, go in your car and spit <laughs> your song or spit your freestyle rap whatever, because mm. that engagement of sitting in the car is like nothing's like it. So um, what is what does the car symbolize that people that, that, that people just resonate with that it's so much? Raw. It's just super yeah. raw. Like if mm -hmm. if like if you scroll and you see somebody freestyling their car, you gonna stop and watch it. Like nine times out of ten, you're gonna stop. Even if you problem. don't know the person at all, you're just gonna see what they're talking about. So mm -hmm. um, and if it's good, then you bam, you just got a new, you know, you just got a new listener. So it's just a very effective way. I'm not gonna lie, I learned a lot <clears throat> from Gray about being a rapper and having a brand. So he had mm -hmm. plant based dripping. And still still has it, but um, and his CD is made out of plants. Right, <laughs> right. that's hard. That's a good actually. marketing player, right? So there. he will always get in his car, <laughs> rap, you, and have his brand on. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, oh, yeah. Welcome and to the board. I straight bit that. You know what I mean? 
and so I see what whenever, you did, you bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like eating plant the plant. Yeah, I bit, I bit the plants. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but now, like, so whenever I, I came with, with my brand, yeah. I was like, I'm gonna do the same thing. Sure, and man. so we both just been building our, our fan bases and through all types of different ways, uh, like you said, contests. Gray has a whole vegan Thanksgiving that he does it, it, every year that brings mm-hmm. in people. So now, ain't nobody over his house on Thanksgiving. You coming this year? Yeah, man. you gonna have that no ham? Come on, that's man. My boy. I got you, man. I got okay. the tofurkey. Oh, the to, the tofurkey. The tofurkey, man. Oh no, it's like a whole turkey milk, not a tofu. No, no, no. It's not tofu, but but it looked just like a turkey for real, for real. But if it ain't a turkey, what is it? It's it's made out of like um, soy. Soy, yeah. So it's just a, a, a you you make a, get a whole like clump of soy and <laughs> carve it, make it so corn it, carve a turkey, some, carve it in turkey. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm about to ask about it. Because yeah. that's what I always heard about <laughs> soy. Like you got yeah. a lot of uh, estrogen, estrogen in it. Estrogen more than any other food. That's why the niggas be crying and shit all the time. About like thirty weeks ago, man, we we like sat down and decided that yo we're gonna. Put our brands together and right. we're gonna start dropping a freestyle every week for every week. one year um, two week plan that was like 30 week, 30 weeks ago and it started you know we dropped one dropped two dropped three and then by the third week we had a storyline mm-hmm. going and then we created a whole uh, nine week series you know Episode. like a rap uh, hip hopper series um and after that ended we're like, okay, we're gonna work on season two, but we're still doing a freestyle every week, wow. every week, every week. Mm-hmm. So um, right now, like I said, we we on week thirty. We actually gotta, gonna shoot some with y'all here today. So yeah, yeah, we, we yeah, yeah, we actually gonna shoot some. Hold on, you gonna do a freestyle? Y'all gonna freestyle for us? No, 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 no. He, he, gonna, he gonna play the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause oh, I know you yeah, had me yeah. freestyle when I did an interview with you up in New York. Man, that was ten years ago. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I'm on, yeah, I take what we can get. I tell you what we can get, but yeah, go ahead. That's awesome. I don't mean to cut you off. So you know, we were dropping content pretty much every week, and if y'all know, as, as creators, they kind of limit us from making money as much as they can now. So it's like, how are we gonna monetize our content? You know. So he has a brand, plant based dripping. I have a brand, in, Inner Peace Outer Glow, which you see on the hat. Yes, um, sir. Um, Inner Peace Outer Glow. Inner Peace mm-hmm. Outer Glow. That's yes. hard. Yes. Mm-hmm. And he has plant based dripping. So we were like. Let's put our brands together, and um, and put put that out, you know. And so we yeah. decided to go go with plants of peace, mm-hmm. and it's just it's just about it's free you know, tea, man. Peace everywhere you go, and shout out to Sherrod over at plantsofpeace.com. Shout out to Sherrod, that's the homie. I know him. Yeah, so I met him through my boy Cali. He gave mm-hmm. us the the play to yeah. to, to do the free tea, sure. you know, the wow. uh, free tea concept, man, and. and it's done well, man. A lot of people are really taking to it. Free tea? Yeah. It's a yeah. Yep. If you if you go on plant free tea shirt. I call right now, you could get a free tea. Plant peace all over the world. Plantsomepeace.com. Mm-hmm. You go on the site, you get a free free t shirt. We ship it straight to your door uh, doorstep. And um And uh, and how do I get it again? Plantsomepeace.com. Just S U M. Okay. Plantsomepeace.com. Uh-huh. And uh scroll down to the white shirt. Yeah. It's free. Bam. Shit straight so you you just gonna give me a shirt for free if I come to your website <laughs> and scroll down. That's right. That's all I got to do. You ain't got to order nothing else. That's it. You nah. You gonna just nah. so you gonna pretty much buy me a t-shirt and send it to my <laughs> it's house. Us. No money down. As long as I got a, a address. As so, long as you got an address. So you got to pay for shipping though. You got to pay for shipping. Yeah. What'd you say? How much shipping is? Twenty nine ninety nine. Thirty-five dollars, not a <laughs> <laughs> I used to hate that on the commercials. <laughs> Must nah, be. No, nah, I, I think it's coming out to like twelve, like twelve dollars. Mm-hmm. Man, that's dope. I see yeah. what you did. So it's not, it's not even crazy. Yeah. Freeze T-shirt, shipping mm-hmm. and handling. Yeah, eighteen ninety-nine. And yeah, it's been going crazy. Well, so, no, not eighteen. It's twelve about twelve dollars. No, nah, yeah, no, nah, it, <laughs> it literally you be out the door twelve ninety. Yeah, I, I think mm-hmm. out the door. Mm-hmm. That's hard. Plant mm-hmm. some peace. Yeah, yeah. And, you get to, and then there's another shirt on there. Like we had, like those are the free ones. Then we got the green, green one. ones on there that are like twenty five. So. Mm-hmm. Y'all got any of them with y'all here today? So Ooh. listen, we was so we listen. Wasn't planning on coming here today. Yeah, yeah. But with that, I mean, yeah. When, whenever that. Hey, us, hey, y'all, stop bringing up old shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they don't have no t-shirts. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> next time they come, that we will. 
Get a so, t-shirt. Yeah. So, yeah, because they was yeah. planning on coming here today. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. My, my bad. My bad. Yeah, yeah. That's what no. yeah. getting a little too real. But yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We, uh, we, we put our brands together, man. Just trying to like, <laughs> I told them, I told them at the top of the year, I'm like, bro, we just, we trying to get to the same spot or the same place. Let's just come together, bro. We're going to get there faster, bro. Like, let's, let's, let's start freestyling every week for a year. And it started with that. Then boom, it burnt like the, the, the rap for, uh, rap for hire hip hopper series, mm -hmm. which we totally got into. And then once we running that, now we like, man, we need sort of a budget to start mm -hmm. inviting other artists in. So how can we do that? And, and just make a positive impact at the same time. Peace. We're like, bro, plan some peace, wow. bro. Boom. Did plan some peace. Um, and it's successful, man. It's, and it's able to now we're able to fund the project. Got a, uh, projects on the way. The single on the way just dropped. Yes, sir. Um, but I think um, I think you asked like the best way to do it, man. Is 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 really authentic to you yep. and your process of creation and your process of like where you're at in in life, really, dog. Like I just think that um, it's not like a one one answer type thing. You know, it's you should tap into your strengths and, and what you're just normally uh and telling the story naturally oh yeah and telling your story mm -hmm. for sure that's that's the that's the big thing too um but yeah and just don't quit man like like if you watch interviews of nip his only thing bro, he he don't give up saying it don't yeah. give up it's a marathon don't, don't stop yeah yes, it's real life because the, the more you go the more experience you got now you're starting to see shit from a bird's eye view you that's know right. what i'm saying yeah that's hard. So, yeah, 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 that's the only way that you you can get ahead if you just keep on going. Because as soon as you stop, you never know if that uh you were just one handshake away, right? From you know whatever your dream is coming all the way true. Sure. Consistency is definitely the name of the game. Mm. You're down and out today, tomorrow you can be on the top of the world. You know, you just never know what your lottery ticket gonna be. Right, right. Go, sure. go, go, and go. So when did y'all first realize that y'all wanted to be a uh, you know, hip hop artists. What, what what inspired you to do that? Ooh, cause you know, I, I was up there talking to YBT the other day. He had asked me, you know, what, what, what was my fascination with Michael Jackson? Yeah, and uh, I, I was just telling him that you know, when I was five years old, this was when the Bad album came out, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, you know, I just thought that everything about the the Bad project was amazing from the movie Moonwalker to him it turning was. into the rabbit mm. dancing and the all greatest, that other shit. The greatest of all time. Mm. Yes, greatest of all amazing. time. You know, with the escapism, nobody, he, he got his own style of dressing and everything. To the, the, the nigga look five different ways in five different <laughs> parts of his life and he made that work. Mm. He changed mm. his voice five different times mm -hmm. and made that work in the 80s. If people got up, off they ass and went and bought his projects and whatnot. The, the stores is he's mm. he's um is in countries in places in the world where they don't even speak English. There's statues of him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? How many people can say that? You know, um, he he had, he holds the record for uh, uh, the packing out stadiums with no openers. Mm. You know, stadiums, not stadiums. The, the mm -hmm. col coliseums. Mm -hmm. You know, he make grown men faint. <laughs> you know, heterosexual men faint, man. You know, yeah. and I just remember being a little boy just in front of the TV, like, what the? Mm. I don't, I know I ain't gonna be able to do this, but if I, I could do that. something, make somebody feel like this in my own type of way, yeah. that's what I want to be. Well, who was that for you guys? What was that for you guys? Mm. Is my question. Bone Thugs and Harmony for me. No, I'm going to say Michael Jackson for me. It's the same way. I, I grew up yeah. with the same type of, like, I, I used to want to be Michael Jackson whenever I was a kid. Mm. Man, mm. I, I knew every move, every song, video. Put the socks on with the swooshy pants, moonwalk <laughs> around the house. Love. The, 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 try to do the lean, the little lean forward. Who's bad? <laughs> the lean forward, I used to want to figure the out. The lean forward. That. Yeah. That's what I was literally just telling him about yeah. that. Hey. Yeah. How the hell did he do that? I just told him I wanted to I learn how to do that move so it, it bad. It was a camera trick and yeah. it was a, a, a thing on the floor yeah. where he, you, that, that, uh, like, uh, that, that, that kept his feet down. Yeah. On. yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought this, the whole time I'm thinking this fool doing this, I'm thinking they just that cold with it. Like, it, like, it, it, and mind you, once again, this is the '80s too, bro. Mm -hmm. as a, that's what I'm saying. Like mm -hmm. as a kid, I'm like, oh, yeah. he's just he's not human. 
Yo, so mm. it's funny that we having this conversation right here because somebody you, every time you try to tell somebody uh, from this generation, this this thing, they're like, well, you know, Chris Brown can do a a, a, a front was flip right on, on on the beat and shit and and, and, and mid dance move. I, he said Michael Jackson can't do that. I said Michael Jackson ain't got to do that. Yeah. <laughs> he don't fucking have to do yeah, no shit it. like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, you, if, if Michael Jackson got his wow. own fucking clothes, you got all this shit on with the goddamn zippers and shit. Yeah. You can't be flipping with all that shit. You cut your ass up. Cut your ass up. <laughs> you cut <laughs> your fucking <laughs> ass up, man. If you're gonna follow Michael Jackson, you better be walking on your ass and flipping and goddamn um, um, doing contortionist shit, putting your leg behind your head. You got to do that. Man, you can't bro. follow that shit he was doing. He did it first and he did it the best. Come on. And then there's that. I have no rebuttal. Come on, man. Uh, Put the jack and Mike jack. Yeah, man. Okay, for my two Mike, my two Mike uh, lovers, right? Do y'all think that uh, Chris Brown is closer to Mike or Usher closer to Mike? Man, mm. what up? It nah. ain't no such thing as closer to Mike. Like close as we got, like what do we have? No, it say? ain't no. Se- don't put that nigga. They, no, what? They don't get so away from Michael. Too. Get away from Michael. They so <laughs> far separated, but it's also Mike came up in a time mm. that was much less saturated. Do it again. Of stu- of superstars. Come on, now you talking that shit. So you know, even though it was less saturated in the nineties with Usher and all, and, but still, it was still more. Bobby Brown. It's less of an appreciation yes. that you have for the artists nowadays just because it's just simply more of them. I feel like back then, like my dad was, was used to tell me like seeing the like Earth, Wind & Fire back then was like magic. It was exactly. like seeing magic. Perfect. And he was like, it was like something you never, but like now you might go to a concert and you love it, but it's not like, it's not like an out of body experience, experience. that you really have because you see the nigga on Instagram, you see him. You, you know what I mean? It's not it's like, much you know he's a human, mm. but mm. back then they really was thinking like Mike is a alien, bro. Like he's not human, you know? So it, it was just different, at least from my perspective. No, no, you, you 100% right. And then, you know, another thing too, just maybe we've been on earth too long. That's probably what it is. Seen yeah, it all. yeah, we we did. Yeah, well, I was there in real time seeing this as it was unfolding. Mm. So the, no, the, I, the, I was the, seeing it in real time. Um, in real time, meaning like, okay, I'm when the, when the bad uh, video yeah. actually comes out, yeah, and you when you you can or you can backtrack and look at um, Thriller on a, on a music video and whatnot, and see the evolution of that in real time, and you know it's it's that much more magical to you. But then mm-hmm. as time progresses and it goes on, you're not, you're less surprised, just like you just said. Mm-hmm. You know, things get less impressive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, what I'm saying? That's why when you see like you keep chasing old, that, you keep chasing mm-hmm. that in your mind. Whenever mm-hmm. you see a 17 year old playing music and they're like, "Fuck with a bit," blah, 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 blah. and when you older, you like, man, they they ain't saying nothing. But to a 17 year old, they never heard that before, so they that's why they mm-hmm. love it. You know what I mean? Because they never heard nobody. They don't want to mm-hmm. hear nobody rap like J Cole. They ain't even heard the the simple stuff yet. So it's like you know that that's why you know. Mm. Hope I'm making sense. Mm. That's no, you. That, that's perfect. Mm. Very interesting perspective. Yes, yeah, that that's perfect. You know, we just we just been here. Yeah, like when you hear "Sexy Red" to a twelve year old, that sounds like the gospel. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shout out "Sexy Red." Shout I'm, out "Sexy I'm Red." I, I like her music. I guess you know, but to us, it's like, oh heck, no, nah, like. I can't do nothing with that, but you done heard it. But whenever you was hearing slob on my knob, like you had never oh, heard nothing right. like that. On my neck, mm-hmm. my back. Right. You had right, never heard right, nothing like right, that. So yeah. it's like you gotta, you know, you was in awe of it then. So mm-hmm. I don't know why the hell I was seven years old singing slob on my knob. Right. You understand yeah, you what I'm saying? Because right. you wanted your it knob to get slob though. <laughs> <laughs> I probably didn't even know what that meant. Did not know what that meant. But you wanted to find out. The natural curly hairs, please don't touch. I thought he was talking about actually on his head. I didn't mm. know he was talking about on his damn balls. Oh, mm. On his on his butt. Mm. Mm. And you know, and it's half the battle. But when you when you finally figured it out that you needed your knob slob, like corn on the cob, you know what I did? I stopped eating corn on the cob. <laughs> <laughs> I never even looked at a piece of corn the same way no more. Corn isn't no. good for you, so that's good. Just yeah, but why you. isn't corn? I I I, I, corn, I haven't done corn, my corn research yet. You can chew it up as hard as you can. You can it's chew hard it up to too. digest. And that shit gonna be whole when you look at it. As soon as you, soon as you, you go to the bathroom, you got talk. that corn just as you ate it right in your stool. <laughs> like how but did your it body can't process? It's man-made. It's not mm. real. It's not a real vegetable. Mm. Rice is too. 
is where I'm yeah in some parts of the world they have like plastic particles in the rice mm. like in eastern they said rice was Asia. created to feed mass amounts of poor people but wow. they, had to create, they created rice to because it was cheap cheap to make Man, I got a cabinet full of rice at the crib. <laughs> My whole, this no whole bullshit. time, I was I thinking rice God. grew off of a plant. No. Rice don't green. come off of. What's it? I ain't know that. Yeah, I can't even imagine. Yeah, what does. I what ain't never rice seen rice uh, grow. You ever seen a rice plant? No. You've never seen a rice, rice plant. Rice fields. There's like fields of rice, and they grow in the ground. What? It's a grain. It's a grain. If okay. you Google rice fields, you'll see. But mm. I'm sure the rice that we eat now. It's probably not coming from you no know, getting grown. Man, it's so hard to know what we're eating right now. Yeah, it's I'm crazy. Sure. But don't worry about it. Don't even think about it. <laughs> don't even worry about <laughs> oh, it. Oh, yeah. That shit. We're not supposed to fear death. No, yeah, don't. Not don't death. No, no. It's, it's death is cool as hell. <laughs> <laughs> death is cool. That's a good t shirt, right? That is a good. I was about death to say that. Bro. Come on now. Come on. Yeah. Hey, don't steal my somebody, shit. Somebody, death is cool. Somebody go. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I want to leave. Somebody. I can see that in damn <laughs> yeah, Spencer somewhere. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm gonna plant some peace. Put that shit on like a like a neon yeah, yeah. shirt. You gotta, you gotta make it seem happy. Death is cool. You know, <laughs> in Nickelodeon colors. Or Don't some be shit. scared. Live. No, that should be like a funeral homes slogan. You know, so whenever the family comes in, it's like, yeah. Hey, you know, death is cool. Guys. Yeah, right. Because right. why do we have to wear black at funeral? Won't we? Won't everybody come with fluorescent colors on? I'm Wouldn't that make black. people feel better? I if everybody that. came in with some sherbet colors, nah, I want my shit white like Bone Thugs and Harmony in 1996 when they yes. perform Crossroads on yes. that stage. That's how I want my that's shit. That's hard. All white. You know what I mean? That's hard. I don't want no black. Do you you you, you cre cremate it or um you you need a cremate for sure? Okay. Yeah. And why? Why you want to be cremated? Because I don't, I don't I don't I don't know. I just feel like I just don't want my body around. I don't want my body just hanging around for people, you know, for anything. Just yeah, I don't, that's what that's one like one of my biggest fears. Even though I'm gonna be dead, is somebody dig my body up and do some stupid shit with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all ever think about that? No. Okay. They're not gonna yeah. do that. Man. They ain't gonna do that. Yeah, they gonna leave good. my body we alone. We gonna make yeah, sure you good. Yeah, they are gonna leave my body alone, my nigga. But something else could be eating the body. Yeah, yeah I don't want no bugs on me or none of that that's shit. What that's, what that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's good. Yeah. This nigga gonna eat. Everything to make his ass get to the grave earlier, but he's scared after he's dead. By <laughs> I don't want nobody <laughs> fucking with me, man. Get leave me alone, my boy. <laughs> leave me alone. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, uh, uh, Tupac. His. Uh, did y'all watch the Dear Mama um, documentary? Yeah, yes. man. Okay, now you saw you saw what, how, how they uh, Tupac did his shit. Mm -hmm. yes. You know what I'm saying? They, they cremated him, then they put him inside the, uh, the ocean. Tupac yes. in Cuba. No, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. I can't. I know him. somebody that said that they um. Used to date Tupac's sister, like this is like a, a credible source, and they said that Tupac's sister used to be on the phone with Pop, like he'll call like once a year or something like that and just check up on the family, and he's still alive. I heard this nigga say that same shit, um, and that nigga be high all the time too, so I don't know if I <laughs> really. But he said he don't smoke. Nah, he said he heard somebody else say the same he thing. He heard somebody else okay. say that. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying. Right. He, he said he don't smoke, so he's saying it. No, I think, um, and that's and that's part of his legacy, bro. Like we, he just got to be alive somewhere, man, because yeah. he was so great. And he, but he is yeah. alive. He he's absolutely he, he, alive. He, he's alive, man. The, what the essence of Tupac? The essence yeah. of him. Yeah. His yeah. energy he, he is sparked, high, he, he man. Definitely sparked what, what he said. He want to spark the next, um, spark yep. the next person. Uh -huh. He said. I think that. I think that he said. And um, I, and we gotta listen to the words. He said, "I may not be the person to change the world, yes, but I'm spark the mind." Meaning, he he may not be, but he might be. Right. And I think he did. He he did. He definitely hell. sparked the mind of Nip. He did a hell of a job. So, he did yeah, a hell of. Took that and ran like all, all the way. And and, and to, you know what? This this you know the wildest part about Tupac is you know just you know just out of I'm I'm gonna humor y'all with the conspiracy, but. He was only 25. Yes. When he, yeah. And do you know how think about slow it. niggas is at 25 yeah. these days? <laughs> right. This nigga was so intelligent, man. Yeah. He was advanced. It's so at advanced. 25, yeah. It's crazy. And, and, and then, you know, I hate, one of the things I hate when we you have the Tupac conversation with certain people is when they challenge his, uh, challenge his manhood or how hard he was and all the other shit. And it's things that Tupac had did as, you know, uh, um, or being disruptive or uh, young or even 
you, the, the gang members wouldn't even do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shooting like, at the police. She come on, bro. Yep. Yep. All kind of crazy stuff. All kind of wild shit nah, that Pac was about that life. Yeah, and he was about that, that life. That opening mm-hmm. scene yeah. on, on Dear Mama with Dude yeah. was, was talking about that was Pac incredible. did that, then went back in there, lit yeah. the blunt up, and was like, "Y'all play my listen to my new song." Yes, yeah. incredible. Yeah. Yeah. that was I like love a, the way to open up that. Yeah. That was like, yeah. a, oh my god, like yeah. I cannot believe. Hey, bro, this how cold Tupac was. He whooped the niggas ass that did the documentary, and they did the shit and didn't make him look stupid. Mm. Mm. Damn. You gotta respect. <laughs> they did, bro, they, and that was probably the hardest documentary out on Pop. I say so. They, they did it right that time. They yeah. did it right. I yeah. didn't see it. I oh, slept. Uh-uh. That oh, shit was. Uh, first episode, yeah. I, I just, it's the best thing out on Pop, I think, bro. Like dealing, dealing in hip hop, just strictly hip hop. If Pop had the past, who you think would have never seen in the game? Oh my gosh, a whole mm. list of motherfuckers that would not be. Here, it would there'd probably be different names for them, but the rappers that we know today would not exist. Mm. I don't think, dog. I don't know. I don't think I don't so. Know. There'd be a level. There's a, le- there's a level of. There was a level of 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 talent you had to have. You mm. don't have to have talent now. I think you Biggie's just gotta have a you know, impacted more of like who we saw versus who we did who we didn't see. Oh, okay. I'm gonna okay. I'm 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 go with you on that. Me too. I'm gonna right. go with you. I take Biggie and New Tupac York, together. New York cats. Open up after him. Ran, yeah. I'm talking about ran through Jay Z. I mean, Jay say. That's true. Jay was gonna come with regardless, but you just never know. Like, it could have just been I'm different. Sure. You can't. Mm. It, I don't think Sometimes you can pass you just take it. But Jay was coming regardless. The South was going to come regardless too. Yeah. I think that whole South, South when South took coming. it over, it's none of that. Tupac same. couldn't do. Biggie wasn't going to be able to do it. Master P Jay-Z, was coming. The South was coming for sure. Master P was on mm-hmm. well, his well. way. Is that is that a lane? Like because they all called out their own lane, but we talking about we talking about Jigga after Biggie or Jigga during Biggie? Would that even be the same? Would that be the, were they looking for something between two like they were looking at Jim DMX? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. It I think made that it easier. I think that I think that Biggie made mm. made it easier. Definitely, I think he he made it easier for but even. But Jay just had a line though in in a song where he said he was like he was the like, commission. Yeah, he was like y'all think that I wouldn't have got on a big wouldn't have been big would have been living. But if big would have been living, y'all would have got the commission. Mm-hmm. He, that was like mm-hmm. one of his bars. So mm-hmm. he was basically saying like I was coming regardless. He was coming. But you just never know. You, you, you I, I think that once again, like you, you, you said just time. a second ago, it it makes it easier for the cream to, because uh, you want more of it. You want more of it. B, uh, uh, DMX, he was definitely going to still be there. Mm. He was coming. Mm-hmm. People, because you're always going to look for uh, yeah. who's next and stuff and to take it to a whole nother level. Especially, 50 Cent was still coming. He was still going to be here. Mm-hmm. He was still going to be here. I don't think that one man can stop another man's uh, uh, um, a uh, 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 grind when it, if if he has that grind if if he lives by those principles of Nip, Nipsey say and don't quit if you keep on going and you keep mo- keep on moving and you you keep your that whatever that vision is you see for yourself that shit gonna happen it's inevitable it's inevitable you it's gotta dope. believe it it would be dope to see though I would love to see the state of hip hop if them two brothers wouldn't have had passed and where we would I have think been um I'm gonna be a politician right now. I like Biggie. He mm, definitely I top so. three in my book. Mm. But my thing is, he ain't really put out that much music. We never, we don't, he only had two albums. Mm. It's not like how Pop got so many albums, so you know what I mean? You see, hold before on, hold his on. death and after his death. Mm. Pop, Biggie had one album before his death, one album after his death. But what if Biggie did have more um, albums? What if he did? Then, they just ain't put them out. The Biggie do it? What if, what, nah, what if he that, had more nah, music than that? Y- your boy uh, Sean Diddy Combs would have been released that. <laughs> And then he probably ain't have he, <laughs> now because keep in mind Biggie was about was to uh, do his own thing, and that's another thing too. I was about to say, you know, you know the whole bad boy curse. Um, Biggie could have end up, you know, falling off or getting angry with uh, Puffy or anything. His whole career could have just shot he, down like Craig Mack or you know all the other people that you know left Bad Boy at that time, and he might not put out no music for six, seven years because now he ain't got the team and stuff with him no more. Even if he was still alive, well, he had it the could have moment- been so many things. He had the momentum to move on, and he had fulfilled his um, 
that, that last album was going to be fulfilling his obligation to the label and he was going to go start all his own uh, situation. That's why he would even sign um, Lil C's and Junior the whole Mafia. Junior Mafia oh, yeah. to a whole nother label. They're not signed with Bad Boy. Mm. They're not on Bad Boy. He was moving on and fixing to do his own thing. And so with that being said, like I said, I'm pretty sure that it's definitely more Biggie music out there and we just don't know where it's at. The, the people that do got it, they they probably are releasing later on. Or, you. Well, you know? Uh, I feel like that music was. No, nah, Fat Joe it. confirmed that recently. I actually just what he, seen friend, that. What he, he said? Yeah, yeah. Him, him and Biggie did this songs on, um, on, on Pac and he said it had like seven or 10 and they said it was just so distasteful that they burned it or some shit. Then he just I, I heard yeah. Jay Z had yeah that Jay Z had one way he played he, he performed at Apollo three times. Uh, mm. Tupac this uh this song they say Lil Kim had a, a crazy Tupac this song and they had uh you know what I'm saying uh they pushed that shit all the way to the back and right. you know I don't know if they destroyed it or whatnot right. but yeah, I, I, I want to say yeah. Clark. Did Clark can't say he heard that shit, and he was like, "I'm, um, I need to, yeah, don't let me hear that shit again. Don't get it to me because I'm gonna probably figure out a way to put this out and whatnot." But yeah, yeah, I think it's a lot of that shit. How many songs do people record all the time? How many songs do you guys have in this to cut? All of y'all individually that that ain't really seen the light sleep, of day. When I think about it, mm -hmm. man, I have an external hard drive for my external hard drive. Like down See what I'm saying? Why Biggie don't got that? That's why true. why would because back that? then they have home yeah. studios where we can just sit at our house and freestyle That's and make uh you know 100 yeah. songs in uh, yeah. two weeks but when who you got all these budgets and big elevators and million dollar actors getting shot on them and limousines and yeah it just had a whole bunch of crazy stuff going on back there but if you, if you're biggie you're biggie you're pop you got access you got resources why ain't you going why wouldn't you go over and take advantage now of he probably got a bunch of songs that like I don't really like that song. Uh, he probably got a bunch of them that's maybe sitting somewhere that's like this. No, it's actually fire. I don't but, even think he got that. But but I think they would have released it. But if it's something that that he ain't like, Puff might re respect it. Like Biggie didn't like it when he was alive, so I ain't gonna put it out there. Yeah, I feel you on that. They they would have released that. I think they, they would have released, released it. Definitely released. It's been it for sure. it's definitely a demand for it. I know y'all see artificial intelligence is like yeah. emulating artists like Biggie. Mm -hmm. This is Biggie voice on songs that he never rapped before, and it sounds strikingly like Biggie. I, yeah. I, I I hate that so yeah. much. Yeah, how y'all feel about that? I, I hate like that shit. Like I can enjoy like Chat GPT and it's simplifying certain things, but when it when it comes to recreating people, especially people that's still alive, like they got something out now where you can go listen to like Tom Brady, all these different people speak on certain things. It's like a Facebook thing or something. Something somebody just just dropped it. It got Snoop Dogg as one of them. But it's like mm -hmm. a, you can sign up for this thing and like if you want to learn how to do something like Snoop will be telling you how to do it and it's yeah. AI and it's like Snoop is alive like pay Snoop to do it you know what I mean like that's that's how I feel but me mm. saying that ain't gonna stop the train I know uh for instance like Bruce Willis he has like a, a condition where he's not able to speak and just act like his <clears throat> he has dementia anymore. yeah dementia so he actually signed over the rights for his likeness to be used in AI. So if he does pass uh, unforeseeably or like people can anticipate him passing because he has dementia, then he'll still, his his uh, estate will still get paid from mm. his likeness being used due to AI. AI. So I feel like it does have its benefits in some way because his family will still be able to benefit from that, from him not being here. If he wants to get casted for a new role or something like that, they can just use AI to recreate it. So if you give permission, then I think that's, I'm that's, pretty sure they gave permission. That's though. cool. Nah, I don't think they did because I know mm -hmm. with that Drake song, boy. Like, oh, you mean like the song? Yeah, the song. The they, just, they was like, we need this off of here. It was I just heard song. something with Kendrick. Yeah. You think this oh, the, the Kendrick verse recently? That yeah, was, that was AI too. It had to be right. Or yeah, I believe so. Um, so was, yeah. then now we ain't gonna know. Like, like is that AI? Is that, so is, is that real? It's a powerful tool, man. I feel like AI is like one of them things, like the internet. Like you got the World Wide Web. This is a dope invention. I think AI is more is the most powerful thing oh yeah I, I think it's way bigger than the internet it's in its infancy stages yeah i think the the full effects of this is a whole new world like completely different world like this is bigger than social media this is bigger than ai is just crazy dog are you scared or are you embracing it like anything i'm embracing, I'm embracing it because it i feel it. like the instant you become a dinosaur you end up like the dinosaurs be extinct you gotta change to your changing environment, adapt 
like you know Charles Darwin. So if you if you get down with it now, I feel like if you learn the ins and outs of it, then you'll be able to make the, make use of it easier when the time comes for it to just be used in daily life. Mm. So I agree. Yeah. Where you at with it, Greg? No, I definitely um, I'm embracing it. You know, I, I, I see like I see the end where like we is us versus robots. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I see that. Like, it's, it's, it's coming for sure. You know, but yeah. I, right now it's like yeah, yeah. Write this bio for me. Write this uh, deck for me. Write this. Come yeah, on, now. yeah, yeah. You yeah, allowed Chat oh, GPT? Like tired, write this. Man. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. tired. Yeah. But they say one in every 15 people is a, a robot. So whoa. They say right now. Right now? Who said that? Right One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I'm about to say. <laughs> hey, hey, but so I do believe some shit like that, but not like that. I, I believe, y'all believe in aliens? Yeah. Hell yeah. I believe there's some aliens in this motherfucker, man. For sure. Yeah. I, I believe it man, might be said, two, said two or three tequila. aliens in this room right now. No, I don't believe that alien they, they said they just found in No, I was about to say, they said Tila Tequila was an alien back when we was on MySpace. You remember that? Yeah. I remember Tila Tequila. And she ain't went nowhere. Where she at? I ain't seen her. Think she might have went back. That's funny. She married with kids or some shit, you know? Right. right. She's something about a bitch, man. That's what they want you to think, man. Man, I forgot about her. I did too. I'm saying. <laughs> oh, I didn't forget. Man, she she, yeah. her, she just canceled. That's all. They canceled the show. And <laughs> every, yeah, she she up there having somebody baby, raising nah. somebody baby. Them what y'all think yeah. about them aliens they just found at that did the Mexican, you, yeah, yeah, Mexican fake, government man. presented? You think it's fake? You think it's I just, fake? I just can't imagine them looking exactly how we think they look. That's how E.T. look. That's what I'm saying. He but, looks just like E.T. But you got to also remember a lot of the stuff that be in these movies be real government secrets. And then we the, find out about who, it. But who said yeah, that, though? They, they, I mean, who even, said they that? Broke, like, they broke that down. You know what I'm saying? Think about. Think they, about they programming us. No, they are. Think about stuff like. Um, when we used to see watch movies, they have uh, electric cars, and then now we got electric cars. They had flying cars, now we got no, flying cars. Okay. Even when they had FaceTime, now we got yeah, FaceTime. That was on the okay. It's so much stuff that be in the movies from back in the day, from the '80s uh, and the early '90s and stuff like that. That now we got access to, mm -hmm. but it was like they didn't think it was real. But here it is, 2023. I can call my son and look at him, and he could be all the way in Mexico somewhere. You see what I'm saying? Real time. No, they've That's always true. put the truth. They movies, didn't even have cell phones back then. But hit it as fictional or, or, yeah. or sci-fi. Yeah. You know, you know what, what they did? They, 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 did y'all ever see they, when they had brought back that episode of The Simpsons where it's showing Donald Trump being president being one day? President. That's yeah. kind of crazy. And it's crazy too yeah, because crazy. the scene, like when you watch it frame by frame, he's coming down the escalator and then there's somebody holding up a Trump sign and there's literally an instance where it happened at that exact same angle. Yep. I, I think he recreated, he recreated that. He recreated that. You think he recreated it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You think he ain't watch The Simpsons too? I don't know. It's a lot you of Simpsons. You know you made it when you turn, you turn mm. into a Simpson. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of mm -hmm. Simpsons like predictions that actually happened though. Yeah. Like, hey dog, that's how I know I done blew up. If a nigga get on the Simpsons. <laughs> Are they still I want to be on the Simpsons, my nigga. Still yeah, yeah, yeah. The Simpsons yeah. longest yeah. Yeah. Show. all time, I believe. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've been watching it from day one, man. Still so trying. Still so, so trying. Mm -hmm. Let's make it happen. If Jack Thriller Simpson. Exactly. Yeah. Yep, Cedar, Cedar's world. Cedar's world. Oh yeah, Damn, Cedar's dog. world. Yeah, it, it didn't make a connection between bro. Cedar's world. BT took me back then, man. I I used, I used to love Cedar, bro. Low key had a damn uh, crush on. Go ahead and <laughs> do it, bro. Hey, do it. What you wanted to do to her? No, 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 no. He wanted to download. I wanted to see the real Cedar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got you. I love the person. Oh, I like. Well, you got damn put your dick in that. That shit would have came off. <laughs> you put that. Was, was she a robot or some shit? Uh, she was like some yeah, animated three D artificial intelligence. Yeah. She's from the metaverse. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. She would have gave you megabytes. Megabytes. <laughs> 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 you gave her he gave you some gigabytes, Ooh. my nigga. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, you Terrible. downloaded I your floppy had, disk. Cedar was an act, uh, somebody voice, right? And they yeah. were just yeah, she talking from, over. It wasn't like. Um, it was, uh, but I mean, that was. That yeah, was right. the beginning stages of it. Yeah. 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 yeah they yeah. always throw the truth in the movies because they got to make it so far fetched that you won't believe it's real. Yep. So you will be like, oh, it's fake. Y'all seen you know the guys with the flying uh, jetpacks and stuff now, right? Mm hmm. On the water? They said that they about to um huh on the water nah on land oh, damn. Mm -hmm. they got them flying around racetracks and stuff like it's a competition mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. like how you got race car they got dudes with backpacks on flying 
Like they on race car. Uh, Get the fuck out of here. And then I also yeah, seen yeah. they did uh, uh, somebody deliver a pizza with that. Y'all yeah, seen that? Yeah. Well, yeah. That, that sounds like some bullshit yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, I think. Nah. I, 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 I heard about done invested that. It, it was done. And they got not bring my pizza in no, in no <laughs> with flying. Them, with no them flying jetpack. They got a flying That's not be cold. But they it's already be robbing a pizza man in the hood anyways. Why you going to let him fly in the hood with one of them flying jetpacks? But do you know how dangerous that is to get on a jetpack and fly around a, a fucking um, a, 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 a track or to go to a nigga house to deliver a pizza? Do you know how dangerous that is? <laughs> you dangerous. could get shot down. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that was on the, you could run into a fucking power. power well, you could hit a bird. <laughs> bird hit you right in the fucking eye. <laughs> <laughs> you fall. Yeah. It's, it, it, now it's imagine so we got to deal with people falling out of the sky. Mm-hmm. And then, That's why I'm worried about driving, flying cars. It's like, well, don't forget about the windshield factor. Windshield. When, 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 like if you fly, flying against like the wind blowing this way and you you like going real fast this way and shit, that shit can like hit you can hit an air pocket and it can knock you off track. Damn. Dang it's it. coming though. <laughs> I, I I hate to say it. They already approved of the car. Cars flying. Now when that shit happens, and they for crazy. sale, they for sale now. Yeah. You gonna get in the car? It's for sale. You gonna get a car to fly? You gonna? It, it, it's some niggas you ain't got no business getting in the car with that's on the on the ground. Yeah. ground. <laughs> you gonna get in a car that a nigga flying? And then what about? <laughs> if you think what, about it, you might get in an accident less because if you about to, you got more. Di- How many accidents space? all of y'all got under your belt right now? <laughs> I ain't I ain't never hit nobody, but I've been hit twice you, by yourself. <laughs> that, now see that's crazy. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, come on now. I ain't getting no flying car with you. I but imagine all the people that be running out of gas. Man, you got to be you ducking flying car <laughs> for falling to the ground like such, such and such died because somebody ran out of gas and fell on them. You oh, know see, what I mean? look at that. Oh, look at whoa, that. Man. Look at that. Or a car fell into my house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, whoa, 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 shit! Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 How much gas do you need? To get? But you think need? about it. Wasn't that on the Jetsons? The flying cars, Ooh. the flying jetpacks. Why was there no black people on the Jetsons? Did they not think we was going? Maybe. And furthermore, why wasn't no black people on the Flintstones? Woo. Mm. So ain't gonna be none of us in the past, would it? Future. <laughs> Y'all better enjoy it right now, guys. Damn, they tried to paint that. a picture, ain't it? Hey, Lord, Woo. man. It's not a conspiracy. It's Hold on, man. We got to Google that shit. I can't accept this. <laughs> I can't accept this. This, this oh, cause they 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 had different um ethnicities on the um on the uh, Flintstones. D- they did have some, like some Puerto Rican motherfuckers on there. Mm-hmm. Definitely nah. black people for sure. Nah. Hey, hey, somebody Google somebody Google Flintstones um niggas on Flintstones. <laughs> hey, but Google, Google that on that on. <laughs> they, put, a robot. they put an alien on them. Um, they had the alien on, in that robot. On the flint, hey, dum dum. <laughs> Kazoo. Didn't it, it come pop up on you? No, Kazoo went to the. He was on what? He was on Flintstone's kids, though. Father, of course. Part of Fred's group of friends. The, 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 uh, the, 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 uh, Kazoo. Kazoo? Nah, a black person. Nigga, oh, there you yeah. go, right there. Oh yeah, come on, yeah. goddamn it! Yeah. They, 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 come right, on, right, right. They, nigga, you, you they had to get our audience. Yeah, you, know I mean? yeah. you can learn a lot if you play a Disney cartoon. Like it's a hundred and one Smurfs and only one Smurf fit. Where do kids come from? Now it was another Smurf. It was like a little ragged ass uh, girl on there. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 remember that? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> a little dirty one. So you know, it wasn't but five Smurfs getting pussy. Hefty, brainy, Papa, poet, and painter. <laughs> he named him off the top too. <laughs> hold on, hold on. You know what? You know what? I got that. I got that. See, a Smurfs was made from an uh, experiment. Mm. Yeah, they wasn't even. They like wasn't real animals or no shit like that. They oh, was. Yeah. They was created. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not. Yeah, they don't like. Re, they don't reproduce or no shit like. Yeah. Mm. They like asexual or some shit. <laughs> no, for real. Yeah. And, and hold on. How I do remember we get that. On this? Y'all blowing my Smurfs mind. is not right. real. <laughs> you remember when he was making the things and then it blew up and stuff like that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, know, I remember that with Powerpuff Girls, sugar, spice, and everything nice. And you remember the, the underground versions of the Smurfs? I mean, the, oh, the, the water works. The snorts. The snorts. Yes. Yeah. They had them things on their head. Yes, yes. Trim. They were yellow, right? They was, uh, yeah, they were different colors and shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, hey, man, what y'all got coming up, bro? Now you say we got 
Plant-based dripping. Mm-hmm. Plant-based it, dripping. Yeah. In a piece out of globe. Plant some peas. Plant some peas. Yeah. Yeah. Dot it. com. Get your free t-shirt right now, man. For Don't sure. even know what you're doing. Plant I don't know who editing this, but put it, put it in the put it yeah. in the Goatee. Goatee. You know what I mean? Put it in the <laughs> and um yeah. and just make sure y'all y'all support that. We also have a new single that just dropped. We we've been yes. putting out these songs every week to build up the buzz and the people mm-hmm. are, you know, really was really waiting on it. So we just dropped a single called On the Way. On the Way. Featuring our homeboy J Biz. He off in the cut right now. Biz. Um On the Way though. Uh and yeah, man, so that's the single and the EP is dropping probably within the next month, month or so. I don't want to give a date. Mm-hmm. But it's coming very, very soon. Very soon. It's very on the way, soon. actually. How many so, songs on the EP? On the way. Just five. Five. Just five. That's, that's good. That's and good. then, and then our whole project is gonna come probably top of the year. Yeah. So are y'all doing this all independently? Mm-hmm. Okay. That, that's why. That's why we. That's ultimately why we did the shirt and why we push our own brands to like give ourselves a budget. Cause I actually, I, I'm actually signed with signed with Tip. Yeah, I know. And, okay. Yeah. And um, but you know, me as far as me and Gray doing stuff together. That's kind of a separate a separate thing. So like oh, we're yeah. we're like we have the ability to give our own selves our own budget. Yeah. You know what I mean? If we just sit down and do what he like to call the brain hurting work. Like <laughs> sit down and figure out what do we need to do? Like we need oh, to yeah. do the merch, figure out the marketing, do the photo shoot, do the mm-hmm. do the work, you know what I mean? Yeah. So man, we did we got the trademark, we got the business set up, we did everything we need to do and it's just been going very successful. So um shout out to that and mm-hmm. so yeah, the music's on the way. Is there gonna be another uh, Hustle Gang project? I don't know. You know what? I was just about to hit them and, and say it's about time for that because I feel like, especially after Ra Ra just, just passed, I feel like mm-hmm. it'd be a good time for you know everybody to get back together and kind of make some music. But everybody kind of doing that they own thing. You know, Tip doing comedy. Yeah, of um, course. Yeah. So he stay on the road, you know, doing shows, and he's also doing shows just on his own. And um, like everybody that was in Hustle Gang, like shot to. Tokyo, you know, she she's doing her thing. Uh, she she got her whole family and she content creating. Um, she got like four babies Tokyo. now. The no, married two. and shit. Yeah, right? I think two. I think okay, she got two. Yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah, and then like L- London J, he's writing songs for Lotto. He's doing his thing. Like his pen game is going insane. One hundred percent. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, you know, everybody from from Hustle Gang is essentially you know went off and doing that thing and if they ever call me to come jump back in I'm, I'm with it but uh as far as what we got going on me and gray pushing what, what we're doing and um yeah i, I got so a single called soul shaker out too soul I shaker soul i shaker. like it yeah come mm-hmm. on shake it like a soul shaker hey it don't sound like <laughs> that but <laughs> 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 you got it. Yeah. uh uh do you uh like the independent route more uh like doing well doing it on your own i should say more like how you guys doing all this together with you and Gray? Me personally, I, I do because um, obviously you wish the funding was accept, you know readily accessible, but you really going through the process, mm-hmm. you know, what I'm saying of knowing like all the steps of everything from marketing to um, uh, just business. Period. Um, but when you get shot to the top so quick, you don't even know how you got there. You know what I mean? And a lot of them artists, when they, when they start crumbling, they don't know how to get, they don't know, they don't know their way back down type. Mm. So I feel like, I, 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 tell, I tell people to take the stairs because when you get to the top, you're going to be in better shape. You see what I'm saying? Then tomorrow you're going to be better. Wow. I think, I think on the, on the Ooh, flip side. Ooh, wait, I just hit me. That's a bar. <laughs> you got to get some shit like that. Yeah. Take the stairs, you're going to be in better shape. Man, That's calf muscles are going to be big. Yeah. No, ain't no elevator to success. Come on now. I think on the on the flip side of that though, if if you never had a label situation, it's hard to or like a major label situation where you've been, it's hard to ask like, do you like independent or because mm. that, if that's all you've had to really experience. But I think that's getting true. that ex- independent experience is good for if you ever choose to, because then you know what you don't know, you know what to mm-hmm. look out for. Because a lot of artists like they just get blow up, major label come calling. They just sign it. They don't know, like, yo, I don't need to do that. I don't need to pay nobody. I can do my own content. I can do all my own. You know what I'm saying? You can cut out what you don't need right. when you know when you've done that in, independent route. And it's more rewarding, you know, financially, mm-hmm. um, if you make it. Mm-hmm. That's if you if you can make it. You know what I mean? It's not rewarding financially, independently, if you don't make it because you just blew a bunch of money. You know Makes I mean? sense. So, mm-hmm. you know, that's that's the thing about the label side. 
people get mad at labels. I, I don't be mad at labels because where else can can you go where they'll give you money and if you don't sell, you don't necessarily, like if you go get a job, you don't got to pay them back out your job money. You only got to pay them back from music money. You know what I mean? Like, like versus if you go get a loan from a bank, they going to get it out your ass no matter where you go. You go get a job, we still want our money. A label, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, if, like Tip, I'm probably still in the hole with Tip. He not asking me, yo, I need that money back out your brand, out your brand, or nothing. like the, labels can't even do that. You know what I mean? So unless you in like a three sixty or something, right. and I, I don't know if I'm in a whole tip, I'm probably yeah. pay back. But but yeah, I'm, I'm just saying like what you mean. Labels, I better give you the goddamn money now. Labels <laughs> are yeah. else. Where else can you go to to where somebody <laughs> makes a investment in you where if if it don't work, you don't have to pay it back. You know what I mean? You're mm -hmm. you're in the hole with them as far as music, mm. but. If you like, oh fuck it, I don't want to rap no more. I'm gonna go start a business. They can't touch that money. You know what I mean? So it's like, I have a give and take thing with with labels, but I would prefer to make it on the indie rock, which is what we're doing. And shout out to platforms like this that help oh, us yes, yeah. so, speak oh, what man. we got going on, so that so we can, real. so we can it keep us further and further away from having to depend on them. You know what yes, I mean? Yes, sir. Bruh, I mean, come on. And I, I heard what you said earlier, but I know y'all y'all let us at least have four bars for y'all leave. Can we get four bars? Just until we get on our feet. <laughs> Don't listen to that nigga. Go ahead. On the way. Nah, 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 nah. But we gon' we gon' we gonna play that. What's the grocery store? Mm. Uh. Flipping these beats like acrobats, put facts on wax, no racks on racks. I jump in this Vic and I gas on tracks. Them 16s coming with tax on that. I jump in this clip, my hat turned back. Since government dropped that crack on blacks, we struggle with feeling love and legitimate. Now I knew drug is the internet. Eat without knowing what they put into that. That'll put your ass in the ground. Can't take steak when they pass that around. You know they been out here jabbing the cows. Whoa, hmm. allegedly. Cause I had a steak like yesterday. Please don't tell me they poisoned the recipe. And you mean to tell me the FDA isn't always around protecting me? So much blood on their hand from inequities. They approve of the food that be making you sit, turn around, and they sell you with phenomies. That's a felony, boy. I be feeling some kind of way. Gray, I see you got the time today, but hey, they tell me where I find the place. <laughs> they behind the cakes. <laughs> Yo, you call us so off guard with that one, bro. Yeah. Bro, that was hard. That was hard. Oh, that was hard. That, that damn music. Jabbing the cow. That, that uh, <laughs> music came in. It kind of. Yeah, what was that about? I was trying to find a simple. That's what it's <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was counting the messages in my head. Oh, yeah. But nah, I appreciate it though. But oh. yeah, nah, I mean, we 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 just been, we done found our, found our like groove and we speak sure. to our audience like what they want to hear. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's not about looking at what Drake is doing and mm -hmm. like, oh, how can I get a, a million fans like that? Like, no, it's about. Yo, if you got 30 people rocking with you, yeah. super serve them 30 people, and that's gonna turn into 60, 60 and 90 and speak mm. to them because it's people that wanna hear what you got to say. Especially you know what I mean? It, and, and we can get frustrated off likes and views and you know, the, the algorithm beating us all down. Like we, mm -hmm. you don't never know what video is gonna do well, what's gonna, right. you just gotta be consistent. You know what I mean? And consistent is, what well, we say, consistency is a main thing because you're not gonna always be motivated to, to do it. But when you're consistent, you know, that gets the motivation. That, that gets your, the, That's yeah, your motivation. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you do it. You. Sometimes you got to do it unmotivated. You know what I mean? Mm. We do that damn near every week. We be like, oh, gotta do it Man. again. But then when we put it out, and it's like you get the you get the reaction. Yeah. You like, oh, these people are feeding off of this. Yeah. Like you got to keep you know you got to keep feeding your base. You know. So. Mm. You get to do wow. it. Mm. Yeah, mm. right. Mm. Yeah, and that's another thing. We get to look at it like Bro. it's a blessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real. <laughs> yeah. And it's really doing what you hate to do like you love it. If you can do that, if you can master I've heard that so many times, but if you can master that, man, mm. discipline and consistency will get you where you where you trying to go wherever. Perfect. Mm. Whatever you Perfect. working with. You know what I'm saying? The universe yields to consistency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, there it is right there, man. Mm. Hey, y'all give it up for these guys one more time, man. Thanks, man. And Gray. Yeah, man. Yo, take us on out, T-Rex. Let's take some pictures, Shay. Come on. Mm. Hey, so look, this hey, our record. single, right? This hey. our single. Hey. Hey, you might want to be right now. Full of cream, I know it's on the way. T top on that cut his 
83, I know it's all the way. Just got me a brand new LLC, that business all the 